Hey guys, Kayla from Homesteady Homeschool Adventure. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree this weekend and I picked up a couple extra things in my um, haul that I did. And these are specific for um, prepping. And it's only just a couple of things. Um, I'm going to do an entire Dollar Tree prepping haul um, in the future very soon. But I went to get the girls to let the girls pick out a, like a couple dollars worth of little toys and gifts that they had... Um, earned and um then in, while I was there I picked out a couple things that I just wanted to uh, quickly wrap so there are some things that are great deals at Dollar Tree and there are some things that aren't necessarily great deals at Dollar Tree um, for example certain canned foods like vegetables and fruits you can generally find them um, cheaper at your grocery store Walmart Target other places have um, better deals than you would find for a whole dollar for a can. So certain things, like I was saying, like certain canned foods wouldn't necessarily be, be a great deal at a dollar a can when you can normally find a canned vegetable or a canned fruit for, you know, closer to 50, 40 cents, depending on, or 80 cents even, depending on where you're shopping. Now canned meats might be a great deal if you can find it for a dollar because a can of Spam or a can of... Um, like the large cans of Vienna sausages and stuff like that, they're way more expensive um, than a dollar, you know, by a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars, depending on where you're shopping as well. So um, you just need to make sure when you're shopping at Dollar Tree that you don't get caught up in everything being a dollar and you're like, oh, these are great deals when sometimes they're not. So that's what I would caution you. Anyway, just a couple things I grabbed. Let's take a look. I grabbed several um, Sharpie markers because we all know Sharpie markers, even individuals, are more than a dollar in most cases. Um, I think that was all. Yeah, I grabbed a couple Sharpie markers, a couple of fine tip and a couple of really, really skinny ultra fine tip ones. They're good for um, labeling uh, some of your food preps or writing expiration dates or just in general it's good to have sharpies so I got three you know a dollar a piece that's probably less than what I would pay for one in another store so thought that was a great deal and a great prep I got a couple things of crazy glue because super glue is something that might be useful um in different emergency situations and also just to have around so I grabbed those a dollar a piece is a good deal on that and they're the crazy glue brand and then last but not least and like I said this is a very small haul I'm gonna be getting others I just grabbed different types of batteries um, I've heard different prepper channels say that these might be good bartering um, items these kinds of things especially the batteries in um you know a end times rough situation kind of thing and just to have for yourself being a dollar a piece they're way cheaper than what you'd, you'd um be spending them on them if you bought them from another store so i got a couple of these and i'm just gonna throw these into my prep container and uh keep keep adding to it every time I go shopping you know and that's my way of doing it is just little by little as I go shopping I just pick up a few extra things um in my regular grocery shopping or in my regular Dollar Tree shopping whatever I'm going to be doing I just add a few little things here and there so I also found a snake bite kit that I didn't know I even had when we were searching through some boxes we hadn't unpacked yet so um another little tip is just when you do find all your stuff keeping it very organized and putting it together so you don't forget that you have it is very very useful too so I'm working on getting um storage containers and starting to put like non-food items food items the different ones medical items and another that sort of thing all right guys if you liked this it's a very short and sweet um little haul but I, I was pretty pleased with the things I got um for like eight bucks I thought it was some pretty good items. So I'll um, keep you updated when I go do my bigger haul. Um, and I'm going to also be getting ready to assemble, um, purchase things for and assemble bug out bags. Um, probably going to do that little by little as, as well. Maybe one bag at a time until we have one for our entire family. That kind of thing. So that would be my encouragement to you. I look at all these people that have their amazing prep um, 
tour videos and I see all the things that they've been saving up for all these years. And I, I can get discouraged if I don't realize that just little by little, we can get there too. So that would be my encouragement to you today is if you're worried about the way the world's going and you want to just be prepared, you know, us living here in a very hurricane prone state, we, we need to be very prepared. So my um, tip would be just little by little, add a few things extra to your grocery cart when you go to shopping like normal. And um, keep really good lists of what you have and what you might want to purchase the next time you go to the store. In my other video that I posted about um, the beginnings of our prepper pantry, I kind of just looked at what we already had. And I organized everything really well and took notes. So now when I go to the grocery store, I know I might want to pick up a, a few more cans of um, canned fruit or maybe some canned meat. Because those are the things that I have the least of right now. So it just gives you... Um, an organized way to know what you have and what you need going forward and then just doing it little by little it adds up so fast like eight dollars last week next time i go shopping i'm gonna get grab a some bottles of water and a few canned foods and then little by little we're going to get ourselves in pretty good shape just do what you can and don't break the bank all right you guys if you think this was helpful um please like and comment and let me know your thoughts are there things that you guys um, wouldn't have got out of this, these, this little stash that I picked up? Is there anything you might have done differently? Give me your tips and tricks. Remember, I'm new and I'm getting started on this prepper journey and homesteady journey here. So let me know your tips and tricks. Um, also, let me know your journey. Are you just getting started? Have you been kind of prepping for years now? Where are you at on your journey with the, towards this and towards self-sufficiency? Um, Feel free to share this out with your friends or anybody that you think it may be helpful for. And uh, by all means, subscribe if you want to. See more content related to prepping, homesteading, homeschool, encouragement, or mom life in general. Stick around. We'd love to have you here. So just put hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I post new videos. And I'm going to try to be posting more frequently, even if it's just shorter videos like this. Y'all have a great night. God bless. Remember, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in him. God is with us. Y'all have a great night. Bye.